close of Goliath for the mud to align that day. Score stood four to two, but one to any more to play. Then when Kuli died at first, the bearers did the same. A pall like silence fell upon the patrons of the demons. But form proceeded Casey, as did also to be wit. And the former was a hoodoo, while the latter was a king. So upon the sick and multitude, men with melancholy sat, for there seemed but little chance of giving Casey to, to bed. But Flint let a dry single to the wonderment of all, and Blake, the much despised, for the cover off the wall. And when the dust had lifted, the men saw what had occurred. There was soon safe at seven, and Flint got her to bed. Then from five thousand thirds and more arose a lusty yell. It rumbled through the valley and rattled in the dell. It pounded on the mountain and recoiled upon the flat. For Casey, my Casey, was advancing to the bed. There was ease in Casey's manner and he stepped into his place. It was pride in Casey's bearing, a smile like Casey's face. And when responding to the cheers, he lightly doffed his hat. A stranger in the crowd, the doubt was Casey at the back. Ten thousand eyes were on him as he rubbed his hands in dirt. Five thousand tongues applauded when he wiped them on his shirt. Then, while the pitcher ground the ball into his lip, and to his hip, the fine splash Casey's eye is snapped with Casey's lip. And now the leather covered spear came pulling through the air. Casey stood a watching. In haughty grandeur, there. Close by the sturdy batsman, the ball unheeded sped. That ain't my style, said Casey. <coughs> Strike one, the umpire said. And the benches blocked with people that went up a muffled roar, like the beating of the storm waves on a stern and distant shore. Get him, get the umpire, shouted someone on the sand, and it's likely they had. If had not Casey raised his hand. With a smile of Christian charity, great Casey's smile shone. He stilled the rising fans. He had, he had the game go on. He signaled to the pitcher, and once more the dumb spheres flew. But Casey still ignored it, and the umpire said, Strike two. They saw his face grow stern and cold, they saw his muscles strain. And they knew that Casey wouldn't let the ball go by in the game. The snare is gone from Casey's leg, his teeth are clenched in hate. He pounds with cruel violence, his bat upon the plate. And now the pitcher holds the ball, and now he lets it go. And now the air is shattered by the force of Casey's blow. Oh, somewhere in this favorite land, the sun is shining bright. The band is playing somewhere, and somewhere hearts are light. Some are men are laughing, and so are children shout. But there is no joy in love, though, and Casey has struck out.